Well, thank you. Now to that breaking news. Some guests forced to evacuate when a fire broke out inside a hotel on Central Park South. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu joins us live outside the Park Place Hotel. Janice, how are things looking there now? Yeah, good morning, Shirlene. Well, things, you know, are back to normal. If you were driving by here, you wouldn't be able to tell uh, kind of the chaos that happened overnight. Guests are back in their rooms, but, you know, I'm sure the smell of strong smoke is going to be in that building for a while. When I was talking to uh, the FDNY chief earlier, he says that there is such a strong smell because this was a duct fire, and the smoke from those tend to uh, be stronger and be more unpleasant. Now, the fire chief says the, the fire started as contractors were doing work on the second floor kitchen and it then spread to spread to the third and fourth floors. Luckily, there was no damage to the rooms because this all happened below the floors that the guests stay in. Uh, and there was quite the response here. Many fire trucks and firefighters. Central Park South was closed for some time and we're told this is the case when responding to a fire at a building with so many floors. Firefighters had to check the stairwells and other locations on the floors to make sure people were were there and that they were safe. Uh, while this was all happening, guests were outside in the cold or inside the lobby, many of them with blankets, uh, some of them sleeping in the lobby. Many say they didn't know what was going on, but they could smell the smoke and hear the fire alarms going off. We just heard all the commotion outside, so we came down and they were busy going up. You were just struggling to breathe coming down the steps, um, but the further down you came, the, the more thick, uh, the uh, denser the smoke was. and came out, everything's fine outside. Luckily, no one was hurt. Some of the guests tell me uh, that one gentleman that you guys just heard from, he said this was his first night with his family in New York City, and he says this was quite the surprise. But, you know, he, as well as everyone else, is thankful that no one was hurt. Live in Midtown, Janice U, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. That is the good news. Thank you, Janice. 633, and out of the 